This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the Faraday constant. The Faraday constant represents the amount of electric charge carried by one mole of electrons. So the Faraday constant, which is given the symbol F, is equal to 96,500 coulombs per mole. So this tells us that one mole of electrons have a charge of 96,500 coulombs. The Faraday constant is equal to the charge on one electron multiplied by the Avogadro constant. The charge on one electron is 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And the Avogadro constant is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. These two values multiplied together give us the Faraday constant. Next we look at an example using the Faraday constant. A current of 4.00 times 10 to the 5 amps is passed through a mixture of molten alumina and cryolite for 5 hours. Calculate the mass of aluminium deposited at the cathode. To solve this problem we'll use the equation Q equals IT. Q is the charge in coulombs, I is the current in amps and T is the time in seconds. The first step is to calculate the amount of charge that passes through the electrolytic cell using the equation Q equals IT. The current was 4.00 times 10 to the 5 amps and the time was 5 hours which I've converted to seconds. When we do the calculation we get a value of 7.20 times 10 to the 9 coulombs. Next we write the equation for the reduction of molten aluminium ions to form molten aluminium. Because the aluminium ion has a 3 plus charge, one mole of aluminium ions requires 3 moles of electrons to form one mole of molten aluminium. So to produce one mole of aluminium requires three moles of electrons. Next we'll calculate the amount of charge required to form one mole of aluminium. In the previous slide we saw that to produce one mole of aluminium requires three moles of electrons. Therefore we multiply the Faraday constant by three and this gives us 2.90 times 10 to the 5 coulombs. This is the charge required to produce one mole of molten aluminium. Next we will calculate the amount in moles of aluminium that's produced at the cathode. To calculate this we divide the amount of charge that passed through the electrolytic cell by the amount of charge required to produce one mole of aluminium which gives us 2.48 times 10 to the 4 moles. The final step is to convert from moles of aluminium to mass of aluminium. So we use the equation mass equals amount in moles multiplied by the molar mass. So that's 2.48 times 10 to the 4 multiplied by the molar mass of aluminium which is 26.98 grams per mole. And this gives us a mass of aluminium produced at the cathode of 6.69 times 10 to the 5 grams.